Okay, so this video is um, to show you how to bring in the side view. So I've made a decision to go back and to calibrate it. So I want to I want to go to the front view and I want to calibrate it. And the reason I want to calibrate it is not because I'm really super concerned about how big it is. It's just that when I, I'm doing the next one, I want to know exactly the size. So I'm going to line up with these and I'm going to go eyeballing it in the middle. So it's pretty close to 18. So I'm going to go 19 just so it fits in the box. So now I'm going to remember 19. Um, so the next thing is we're going to try to take a look at where we have it and where we want the next view to be. So obviously that is sort of the flat version of it. And if you look at it, you can sort of see that I would like to have this image, the next image of the side, come in on this face. So that's called the, um, the XZ or the XZ. So now I can go and I can insert my new canvas. Um, I can find it. It's going to be the side view. And I'm going to click. And so it's going to ask me for the face. So I'm going to choose that one. Now, it almost chose that one, so that would have been bad you can come over here and that way it's a little bit easier to decide. So you can see that it's facing the wrong direction. Um, so I could, I'll do it like I, I just did this a few minutes ago. And so you can turn it now. Remember you want to choose 90 or 180 or 270. And so now it's facing the right direction but it's upside down. So the way you solve that is these other things that I've never used. And that's this, basically it's flipping it, um, I guess that would be horizontally. And so now when I click on the bottom, I've got it in the right direction. And it's just too long. So now remember we, we scaled the other one to 19. So we can do the same to this one. Um, this is the opacity, you can, so you can change how how dark it is. So if you want it to be really dark, you can go to 100%. If you want it to be very faint, you can go, I think it was in the middle. Um, there's some fine adjustment with distance and angle that you can play with. There's flip horizontal, that was that symbol that I showed you, and flip vertical. Okay, so I used flip vertical. And um, you can use this little scaling thing to get it closer. And then once you get it closer, you can shift it using the arrows. So it's a little bit too big. And so you can sort of see what's happening with the scale. You can type in values and finesse it. I'm gonna click okay. And um, then I'm going to take, uh, so this is the top view and this is the uh, fork side. So this is where I'm going to calibrate it. And I'm going to click on this part. I might draw a line down to here. Just because there's a curve. And then I want to know where the tips are here. So we'll pick it here. And it's 18, so I'm going to make that 19. And so that should be very close. Uh, the end result is it's not going to be super important um, and you can sort of see that there's a slight twist in the, in the fork. So it's just to get you in the ballpark when you're drawing your images. Okay, so we're going to stop there just to make these videos shorter. Okay.